Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I start out Vaughn's loose leash walking session. So I start out with the get it game to help get her engaged. So that's basically as soon as she turns towards me, I say get it and toss the tree outwards, which sets her up to turn around and look at me again. Then I'm going to do another engagement game that I just call let's go. And that's where I turn away from her. And as soon as she turns to move with me, um, I mark with good and give her a treat next to my left leg. So I'll show you what that looks like. So let's start with the get it game. So I already have treats ready in my hand. I've got about maybe five here, little pieces, or maybe closer to six. Um, and what I'm gonna do is as soon as she turns towards me, I'm gonna say, get it and toss the treat outwards. <laughs> Which she's already paying attention because she knows I have treats now. Get it. takes is a few repetitions like that you don't need to practice that one super long because obviously you'd be giving your dog a lot of treats it's just to get them engaging with you a little bit and actually focusing on you instead of looking at things like around the park and whatnot so the next thing we're gonna do is let's go so I'm not actually gonna say let's go it's just kind of the name I give the game and we can put it on cue later but all I'm gonna do is turn away from her and as soon as she turns to follow me, I'm gonna mark with good and deliver a treat next to my left leg. So if she's interested in the smell on the ground, let's see how this goes. Good. Moving away, good. Turning in, good. Turning this way, let's see what happens. Good. So what you can see at the end of this is that your dog starts to look a lot like they're loose leash walking. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm just going to get some treats ready here. Come on. I'm going to get her out here so you can see. Good. Let's start to walk. turn towards her by putting the treat to her nose and turning into her. Good! So again, turning into her, I'm going to put the treat right to her nose, and that way I can walk around her like this. Just like that. So if you practice with putting the treat to their nose and turning into them, they get more body awareness and then you can turn like I just did without the treat lure and just kind of turn towards them and uh, go in a full circle basically. Sorry, it's really cold. <laughs> um, the next thing I'm going to do is just show you what it looks like without treats. So Vaughn is a dog that loves sniffing. Come here, she loves sniffing and I just released her to go sniff and she was like, no, I want to keep engaging with you. So that's when you know that you're doing a really good job is when you release your dog to do something they normally would really want to do and not pay attention to you. 
and they choose you instead. So that's really cool. Uh, but you can see I didn't have a tree out in my hand at all and I was just practicing the turns and whatnot and then I stopped and she sat. So you don't have to have the tree in front of their face um, once the training's complete. You fade that out eventually. But since you've built up such a long reinforcement history of her engaging with you, then uh, you can do it without treats or just have a few in your pocket to reward um, every once in a while. But that's down the line. You don't want to take treats away too soon. Um, but also mixing in the go snip is another reward that you can use uh, that won't make you as reliant on food. But it's not the end of the world to carry a few treats in your pocket. A lot of people think that that's not a good thing. but you're working with an animal and it's easy reinforcement to use, so why not? All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully it helps you out and I'll see you guys in the next one.